is Eli from Back to the Topic, and I'm here with... Oh man, my name's LJ. Alpha X Alpha. Yeah, I'm Summer. My nigga T Banks, what's up? I'm Kiss Me Desi. My name is Brandy. And my name is Courtney. My name is Mia. My name is Mateo. My name is Mariah. Uncle Rock is no relation. My name's Jamie. Terrell. I'm Kai. I'm Marcus LaFleur. Afro Sinju. I'm Danny Lewis. Adrian. My name's Imani. My name is Cameron. My name's Andrew. My name's Kay. My name is Kai. My name's Michaela. My name is Tima. My name's Zaija. So once again, ladies, my name is Eli from Back to the Topic. Um, very nice to meet you both. Uh, start off by saying, what are your names and what brought you to DreamCon? Uh, my name's Imani. Mm. Um, I'm from Nebraska. I came here because uh, I followed RDC World for a while, mm -hmm. and I know that they made this, and a bunch of other YouTubers I follow yeah. support them, and I wanted to come and see how I can connect with other people like me that are really heavy into anime, but also it's just like a really good, diverse community to be a part of. So yeah. this is my first one, so I'm really happy to be here. Same, it's my first one too. And I'm like, I, I, I already knew on the second day, I'm like, I'm gonna be back oh, here yeah. next year. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. definitely coming back next year. And then what is your name? And what brought you to Dream Con? My name is Cameron. Um, I am Imani's best friend. I'm originally from Nebraska, but I moved to Minnesota. So really, she brought me to Dream Con. And today her address is a couple of her original characters. Which is one thing I wanted to talk about. So my biggest question to most people is DreamCon is all about networking. It's all about sharing your passion. It's all about meeting the right people and learning from different panels and different other creators. If you have a dream, what is your dream and what are you doing right now to pursue it? So my dream, which has been my dream since I was little, is just to have my own animation studio. Um, and right now I'm actually in the process of getting that started. Um, so I feel like it's really important to have more representation of um, black and BIPOC people in mainstream, specifically in 2D animation and um, web comics and comics in general. Yeah. And then just be, me being as a black female, I want to see more black female leads in yeah. things. So that's what I'm focused on. And right now I'm in the process of making my first webtoon series. Um, okay. It's called Kinsin, K-I-N-S-I-N. Um, it's in the process of being produced right now, so it's not done, but slowly and steadily I'm making it, and hopefully within the next couple of years it'll be ready to be put out into the world. Um, and so right now, for my studio, I'm just in the process of getting my, getting my studio name registered. Yep. Um, and so in the beginning stages, but I'm starting, I'm really excited, and I have the passion for this industry. Good. And how long have you been working on your series? Um, this series is fairly brand new. I've had the characters for years, but I just never knew what to do with them exactly until like maybe three or four years ago during COVID. Um, and so, you know, that's when everybody didn't have anything to do. So I was like, let me make a story with them. Um, so yeah, they're about, it's about four years in the making. What was the, so throughout making, Real quick, actually I want to ask this. So explain to the audience, what are your characters and who are you dressed as? Okay, so today I'm dressed as my side character. Her name is Minji. Um, she is a glutton, a gluttonous demon. So she is, she likes to eat a lot, but you can't tell. Mm -hmm. She's really small and petite, but she likes to eat a lot. Um, and then she's dressed as the greed demon, Lily. Um, so she is, a stripper. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. She strips. She likes money, and she really likes to have uh, like things that most people don't care about, yeah. like money, diamonds, cars. She wants to have it all. Yeah. So yeah. So walk me through. What have been the ups and downs? Like, what are the downs that kind of had you second guessing your passion and your story and your webtoons? And what were the ups that motivated you more to keep on going? Explain to me like the hardships of your process. Okay, um, I will say I am my biggest critic. Um, a lot of it has to do with like being comfortable with putting my own work out there um, and kind of believing in my own story and believing in my own characters and understanding that people do want to see them. But in my own mind, I'm kind of like my own barrier sometimes. Yeah. So I have to keep reminding myself that there are people out there that do want to see my work. 
So that's something I'm just currently working on still. Every now and then I'm kind of just like, uh, I'll just be quiet about it. But, you know, I have people that like to support yeah. me, my right. friends and my family. Yeah, want to be your work too. Yeah, and they want to be it, be in it and support it. So that's uh, probably the biggest barrier that I had that I've overcome now. Right. Um, and then what was your second question? Uh, what has motivated you more to keep on going? So, like, what are those reassuring things? Like, when you when you started putting pen to paper, when you started promoting, we started uploading, and you saw people's reactions to it, you got that feedback from it. Like, yeah. what were those like highlights? You're like, you know what? I believe in this more yeah. thanks to the support. Like, what kind of support? What kind of motivation kept you going? Um, really, just the support of everyone that followed me. Uh, right now on Instagram, I have about 10k followers that I don't even think about. Yeah. To me, it's just a number, but actually visualizing how many people that is lets me know that, hey, I have something here that people want to look at and read and be yeah. a part of. Um, and so that really pushes me to kind of show them, yeah, I'm doing this. And because of you, I'm able to do this. Yeah. Um, so really just the support of everyone around me kind of inspired me. And then other, my other friends are also webcomic artists. And so yeah. I get to see them and doing them doing their own passions inspire me as well. I'm very big with supporting other artists and their stories and stuff, and so that inspired me to continue doing what I do. No, and like, you deserve all the credit in the world because when it comes to artistry, when it comes, like I have fr friends who do webtoons, I have friends who do animation or, or draw, like one of my closest friends, um, I don't know if you know Dominic Cellini, but uh, he does the artist with uh, Emmy the Robot, and he wrote, made a chosen book about it. Yeah. Uh, I've met him like years ago and like he's always been about writing his children's book, about making his webtoons. Like he's been relentless over the last couple of years. And so when it comes down to artists, you guys deserve all the credit in the world and all the clout possible because art is one of the very few things where you instantaneously off the first view, you can see how much effort it took to make the image. You can see the idea behind the design, you put thought behind the caricature and their and their and their design, the way they look, their attitudes, things like that. So like like Music, you gotta listen to the whole song. Uh, skits, you gotta watch the whole video. But when it comes to art, you immediately see like this person has talent, this person has skill. They put effort into it, and from the detail you put into your drawings, people can kind of equate and analyze like, all right, that was probably like a two, three day project or a week project, or it took a lot of thought into it. Yeah. So no, like you, you're up there. Like you, I, 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 I took a peek at your Instagram a little bit. I'm like, okay, like I see, okay, like she got some good designs going on there. Yeah. Now, as Imani's best friend, and as she said, she is very hypercritical of herself. Yeah. What have you done recently to boost her up, motivate her, support her? And what advice would you give to other animators who have, like, what would you give to other friends who have animators and, and uh, drawers and artists to also help boost them up? I love that question. Well, just doing something like this. So she had the idea of wanting to go to DreamCon, and she had texted me about it, and I thought, you know what? I want to be one of your characters right right away. I just knew that I wanted to dress as one of her characters and that we could do it together. Yeah. And just, you know, bringing that character to life has been so fun for me and then yeah. we were able to collaborate. And since so, we live in different states, so we'll, you know, we'll, we'll meet up and we'll talk on Zoom and we'll talk, you know, we'll talk shop together. Yeah. I'm a graphic designer, so I have a little bit, you know, it's kind of, okay. it's kind of related, you know, it's still art related, right? Yeah. And so, you know, we'll exchange ideas and like she'll bounce things off of me, I'll bounce things off of her. Just, just always like building each other up. She does it for me too, you know? Yeah. You know? Now, last question I asked both of you ladies, where can the people find you? What are your handles and where can people follow you and support you at? Um, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm on there majority of the time. Uh, my tag is MO3 underscore black. Um, that is my, my business name. That's kind of what I go by. Um, and so you can find me there. And I'm also on Instagram. My name is Cameron. So it's first name Cameron, C A M E R O N underscore Shield, S C H E E L E. That's my personal Instagram too. I post some of my art and stuff on there. I draw a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Ladies, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure meeting you both. And I'm, I can't wait to see. I'm, I want to check. I'm going to check out your webtoons, and I can't wait to see like how far it takes you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ladies, you're doing the rest of the con, all right? All right. Thank you. Too.